Disorders relating to inappropriate soil pH and EC are really common in finished plant production. Water quality, as well as fertilizer formulation, concentration and application frequency are all common factors that affect these two parameters over time. When stunting, chlorosis, shoot tip abortion, uh, marginal leaf burn, and any other symptoms associated with physiological disorders occur, first question you should answer is, what is your soil pH? Collecting soil samples from multiple pots, pooling them together and sending them to a lab is easy and it doesn't result in the destruction of plants, but it can take a long time to get your results depending on the lab. That's where field testing methods like the pour through method, which we're gonna show you here, uh, come in handy because they're fast, they're easy, that you, they can be done pretty much on the fly as you're watering and walking through your crops. There are several other testing methods you can use like saturated media extract or two to one, but we're gonna show you how to do the pour through here today. First step, water your crop in with whatever you would normally be applying that day, whether it's clear water or fertilizer. Second step, let it sit for about 30 minutes, but not much longer than 45 minutes. This will allow any fertilizer salts that were in, already in the growing media to come into solution so you get a good representation of what's going on in the root zone. After all excess water or fertilizer solution has had a chance to drain off, take one of your plants and put it onto a little saucer like this. Make sure that saucers are clean and dry before doing so. Then add about 75 milliliters or a third of a cup of distilled water, make sure there's nothing else in your water, to the top of the growing media. When you're applying water, make sure that you apply it so that it fills the headspace and water can move through the soil profile as a front rather than just channeling through one part of the growing media. Once the leachate is all collected in the saucer, go ahead and take your plant out and pour your leachate off into another vessel here for testing. You wanna make sure that you have at least 50 milliliters of leachate in your cup to test. Then take your calibrated pH and EC meter and submerge the probe fully in your leachate solution, ensuring that the probe is completely covered. Gently swirl the probe. And wait for the reading to stabilize. Once your reading stabilizes, jot it down. If you're using single parameter meters for pH and EC, now is probably a good time to switch to your other meter. But if you're using a combo or multifunction meter, press the button that switches from one parameter to the other. Whether you're starting on pH, go to EC, or from EC, go to pH. Similarly, wait for the reading to stabilize and jot down your second reading. Based on the readout you get from your leachate, adjust your crop culture to either raise or lower your pH or EC back into the appropriate range. If you need help interpreting readouts or guiding any management decisions, reach out to your favorite diagnostician. And as always, be sure to properly clean your pH and EC meter before storing it. 